Hey Luke here with CaptainCarp.com and I'm going to show you some carp fishing. We're going to do some serious carp fishing here. I'm going to be going to a spot I've never fished before and I'm going to show you the baits I'm using, the tackles and rigs I'm using and uh, hopefully you can get out there and try it too. You excited to go do some fishing Tommy? Uh, yeah, I want my kids to carp in this. Okay, first I'm going to show you a pack bait that I'm going to be using today. Now a pack bait is a bait that you can pack uh, around the hook or pack around the lead. It's a way of chumming by just casting your rod out. You take a, a bit of free bait, pack it around your hook bait, chuck it out there, it disintegrates and makes a nice little pile there. This is a great technique in states that don't allow chumming. Because you're casting the bait out attached to your hook, it technically isn't chumming in most states. So let me show you what I'm using here. Uh, I went down to the Asian supermarket and I've got two number 10 cans full of sweet corn, two boxes of strawberry jello, and two bags of panko, which is dried breadcrumbs you use for deep frying and making tempura. Um, and this makes a fabulous pack bait. So let me show you how I do it. All right, first take the dry ingredients, put them in the bucket. Maybe the jello. Jello. Yeah, you can use any flavor of jelly you want, but I really like the strawberry. It's classic. Now we take the number 10 can and we're going to open it up. So now we're going to drain the water off. Oh yeah. And of course, overfill the bucket. You want to catch some carp and fish? Yeah! Alrighty, buddy. Let's do this. Alright. On you go. Okay, now push the lever forward. Push it forward. Okay. Now we're going to go push it forward. Now we gotta steer. You gotta steer. There you go. Okay, make it straight. Go straight. A little more, a little more. Good job, perfect, right there. You want me to drive the boat so you can eat Cheetos? All right, let's switch. Here, go sit over here. Hey Tom, are you excited to go fishing? Yeah, we're going to catch carp and fish. I'm tired. You're tired. Yeah. Oh, you're my little fishing buddy. Carp fishermen can learn a lot about fishing from a boat from cat fishermen. And the techniques we use to catch catfish were great for catching carp. Like here I'm using a two anchor system. I put a 28 pound anchor off the front, I reverse the boat back up, drop an anchor off the back, and I turn off the engine, I tighten up both ropes, keeps you rock solid still while fishing for carp. And the rigs I'm using here, these are classic method feeder rigs. They're I got a fake corn on them and a number six hook on a hair rig and it just clips on to the uh, end of the rig and I have this little plastic sleeve, a helicopter sleeve uh, that slides over the clip to keep it from coming undone. I'll put links in the description to all the rigs and gear I'm using in this video. And also I'll put a link to a video on how to tie this rig. The bait packs onto the method lead. So you just kind of make a little ball of bait around this lead and the lead's designed to always land bottom side down and so you put uh, tuck the bait on the top 
and spike it with a little bit of this corda goo to give it a little extra flavor. I got pineapple flavor, but you can use whatever flavor you want. And uh, this works great. It's a great method. And if you're in a state that doesn't allow chumming, check your regs because this isn't defined as chumming in a lot of states. So anyway, I'm fishing with six rods and it did not take long. Oh, look at that, Tom. Huh? Look at that. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, we got something. Oh, nice. No, yeah, it's not. It's a carp. <laughs> Let's feed him. We already did. That's how we caught him. Look at that. Is he like catching the carp? Yeah. Well, it has it has a hook on it. Why don't oh. you push him in? Oh, give me kisses, girl. Oh, look, Tom. I think there's a fish over here. Yeah, we got another one. Yeah, we got another one. You want to pick him up, Tom? I just need Captain. <laughs> oh, hold on. All right. Hey, I gotta go. Yeah, look at this. Woo! There's a new Thanks, Tom. Oh, there we go. A little bit better fish. Look, a bird took our fish away. Yeah, oh, here's a nicer fish. Nice. Nice fish. Three carp in about eight minutes. This is how it is. They kind of come in schools and you get them bam, 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 real fast. Now what'll happen is if I chum over there and give them lots of free food, they'll stay there and I can catch them all. But if I don't, if I just keep hitting them, they're gonna figure out something's up and the school's gonna move on. So we're gonna see if we can't keep them interested and keep them, uh, keep them fighting, all right? Tom, you wanna go uh, put, them, put them in the water? Look at that. Oh. Nice one. Oh, this one's a this one's a fighter. Um. Oh. What a beautiful 13 pound carp. What a fighter. And these are fun. Love these fish. Let's get them back in the water. <laughs> what a belly flop. Hold on, you got carp blood in your hair. Yeah, oop, you, you got carp blood in your hair. Oh, that's, that's just part of the styling. There you go. There you go. Look at me, Tom. You got, you got a fish slime faux hawk. No, Tom, that's the live well. Uh, there we go. 
Yeah, look at that, nice little five, six pound channel catfish. Now some of you might be surprised to see me catching channel catfish on breadcrumbs and sweet corn, but don't be surprised. These carp baits are fabulous catfish baits. My personal best channel catfish, a 23 pounder, was caught on these exact same rigs, exact same bait, exact same techniques. Channel catfish love carp bait, man. They love it. So if you get into carp fishing, you're gonna learn some awesome tricks to catch and better or catfish. At any rate, let's get them back in the water. Okay, let me show you the reels I'm using. These are the Daiwa Regal 3500 BRI reels. They're called bite and run reels because they have a dual drag system. Down here you have this lever and when the, leather's, when the lever's up, the top drag is engaged. And when the lever is down, the bottom drag is engaged. And the bottom drag is light, so that when it's in the rod holder, it'll let line out. And when you flip it up, the fighting drag is engaged, and it's tough, okay? This is a great for bank fishing, because when you put them in the rod holders, you set the rear drag, and if a fish comes, it takes line instead of ripping your rod into the water. And then as soon as you oh, uh, get a fish, and you wanna fight it, you either manually flip the switch, or you just crank the handle once, and it clicks and activates the fighting drag. These are about a $40 reel, and I get them on Amazon.com. These rods I'm using are all the same. They're six foot rods by a company called Chubb. It's a British carp fishing company. And the type of rod is called the Outcast. It's a stalker model, meaning it's six feet instead of 12 feet. And it's a 2.75 pound test curve, which is kind of a quantification of, of how much backbone it has. It means it has 2.75 pounds to bend the tip 90 degrees. Um, these are about $41 is what I paid to have them, uh, to buy them from the UK. And I think I paid 20 bucks to have all six of them shipped over. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and they've got a fabulous action. They're one piece. Is he still on there? Oh, oh yeah. Fabulous one piece rods. And they've got this awesome Fuji shrink wrap handle that I love dearly. This is how they made the helmet Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, all right, enough about the rods, more about fishing. Oh. Look at that, another channel catfish. Let's get This rig is called a hair rig. See, I've got a little fake piece of corn on the end. The corn is attached to a hair instead of the hook. The way this hook is designed, with the shrink wrap tubing and the hair rig and everything, you catch the fish in the bottom lip or in the corner of the mouth every time. Never gut hook a fish. Awesome hookup ratio and the little bluegill and stuff can't steal your bait. It's an awesome rig. Okay, this is the, the lead I'm using. It's called a method lead. It's uh, an inline lead with these little ribs on it that hold pack baits. Um, this one's 40 grams, and it's got this little rubber uh, sleeve on there to kind of protect your line. And this one comes with these little clasps to allow you to hook on and off your leader, to take it on and off. Um, which is helpful when you're storing your rods and the swivel fits fits right in there So you can have it, the uh, the lead set so that it doesn't come off very easy It's more of a bolt rig or you can make it free running. Oh, sorry. Oh, I gotta go again oh, Here we go. Oh, that's a nice fish Oh, Stay out from underneath the boat Whew, what's that, about, about a seven, eight pound channel catfish right there? His belly is full of corn. He'd probably only be about six pounds if he hadn't been eating so much bait. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get him back in the water. Nice porker. Another nice double digit carp. 
Oh, these things fight great. Loads of fun. This has been just quick and fast, furious action. This is the Cabela's Magnum rubber uh, landing net. It's got real fish friendly rubber mesh, super long telescoping handle. It's great for boat fishing for these carp. Oh, look at this. Look at this, another fish. Can't even, can't even do my little talking bits because all the fish keep bugging me. Oh man, look at that. Look at that take, look at that take. Another huge take. Ooh, this feels like a nice fish. Look at a big, long, lean, mean beauty. Oh, is he gonna fit in the net? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, got a double here. Oh, he's pulling the boat around. What a double. Look at this. Nice fish. Let's get him back in the water. And then, look at that. A lot of nice chunky 16 pound carp. Whew. Fast and furious action here. Man. What a night. We got here a little past six o'clock, anchored up, got baited up, and uh, it's now 7.20, and I can't even remember how many carps and uh, catfish we've caught. What a, what a fast action, man. This is what carp fishing is in the US, and it's you get in the right spot and you can just tear it up. Fast, powerful fish that just hit and huge takes. It's awesome. It's awesome. These are a wonderful fish and it's a great way to catch catfish. Lovely, lovely channel catfish and that's what I've, I've seen. My uh, biggest flathead and my biggest channel catfish were both caught while I was carp fishing. 53 pound flathead and a 23 pound channel catfish. So if you like to catch catfish, if you like to catch carp, this is a great way to do Okay. Uh, it looks like I gotta go reel in one more. Hold on. Man, sucker's taking drag. Take and drag like it's free. Oh. Look at this. What a beautiful carp. Man, just fast and furious. I could catch him like this all night long. I'd be worn out. But at any rate, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, this is an awesome, awesome fish, an awesome technique. Great way to have a load of fun. Oh man. At any rate, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out some of our other great videos, including my 15 favorite carp baits and a great video on how to catch carp and how to find carp. If you like what you see, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching.